I ain't never gonna be like Mike. That's just a fact. I could, however, strive to be more like Nikola Jokic, a below the rim legend, a man of great inspiration to me, a man who can't run, can't really jump, doesn't move fast, but he gets the job done. Seriously, Nikola Jokic is a massive inspiration to me. Guys like me with no natural athleticism, rocking a solid dad bod. I mean, seriously, it blows my mind that there are people out there with six individual abdominal muscles. Madness, madness. I've never seen none of that. So Nikola Jokic is my guy. I'm almost mad he got skinny. It's like, bro, you left us. Now I feel obliged to get in shape. God damn. Anyway, I'm going to be taking over Nikola Jokic's team today because I love the guy. And I'm going to try and win him a chip in just one off season. Let's get into it. What's going on? Welcome back to the Below The Rim channel. I'm James, I'm 6'4 with a 6'7 wingspan, and much like Nikola Jokic if he was my height, I've never dunked a basketball in my entire life. So, for those of you who saw my last Philadelphia 76ers rebuild, you'll know that I basically took them from what I'd call a pretender, so a team that's almost there, but not quite at that Lakers Clippers Bucks level, and I turned them into a legitimate contender, in one off season with just a few realistic trades. So today, I wanna take my guy Nikola Jokic, take the Denver Nuggets and do the same thing. I've got one off season and one season, I've got a maximum of five realistic trades, and I have to turn them into a contender. And we're just gonna see what happens. If we win a chip, great, if we don't, fine. I just wanna see if I can upgrade the squad and turn them into a sort of better version of what they are today. I think that's enough intro, let's hop into it. Okay, so I'm here in the 2020 offseason with the Nuggets, we're here at staff signing, and I think my strategy for this video, I'm going to try and get through the whole offseason, bring all of our guys back, and then we can make some trades when we get to next season, because we're kind of capped out, we want to retain all the guys we've got bird rights on, get Bol Bol back, and then use all of these guys in trades. I will show you guys staff signing, because I do want to fire Mike Malone, I don't really rate him as a coach, and yeah, Stafe has got great ratings, he runs the same system, so we'll bring him in, if he accepts that offer. Boom. Okay, moving on to the draft. Okay, so before the draft, I did just check what Will Barton and the 22nd pick could get me, and OG Ananobi came up. I see this working for both sides. Two picks and Will Barton, who's a veteran that can contribute to a championship team. The Nuggets get some much-needed defense, and Ananobi fits the timeline really well. So I think I'm going to use one of my five trades before next season, and I'm going to pull the trigger on this. I mean, this is a great trade, in my opinion. I'm doing it. Boom. All right, let's skip through the draft. Go to rookie signing. Again, nothing there. So let's move on to team player options, see what we've got going on here. Bol Bol has a team option. Perfect. K debates the op. Don't really need him. Grant declines. We'll probably just pay him and bring him back, honestly. Qualifying offers. Mm, mm, go on then. Doja can have the offer. He's actually showing some promise in real life, to be fair. Okay, let's jump into free agency here. So we've got a lot of free agents, I believe. Plumley, Millsap, a lot of guys. Millsap has no offers, which is nice. We can probably lowball him a little bit. I want to make sure I get him back as a sign and trade asset. Tory Craig, not too interested in him. I know Americans pronounce it Tory Craig, which I find hilarious. Let's give him the two-year team option. I'll pay him a little bit less than that. See if he comes back on that. And then Plumley, I guess he's a guy. We'll bring him back on the similar sort of team option deal. Again, lowball him a little bit. Okay, let's see what's going on there. Have we got everyone back? One, two, three. Tory Craig, we've still got the rights on. We might bring him back. We can probably renounce most of these other dudes. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay, let's get through moratorium. See if Tory Craig gets any offers. See what's going on with Bol Bol. I don't think we have rights on him, so we may just have to wait for Bol Bol to either get an offer or um, basically just accept the qualifying offer. Okay, so we're here at training camps, and sometimes my own stupidity honestly amazes me. You guys literally watch me accept the team option on Bol Bol, then I'm there in free agency, like, looking for him as if he's going to be there. Man, I'm so dumb sometimes. All right, so we've got two training camps here. Untapped potential probably on Michael Porter Jr. right off the bat, and probably do the same thing for Jamal. Yeah, I think that works. And then look at Bol Bol right here. Like, I am i haven't done any camps with him because, yeah, I'm kind of wanting to maybe trade him. It hurts to trade Bol Bol because he's so good in this game. But realistically, I think there's people they could go for that they'd use him in a sort of trade package for. So, yeah, we'll probably end up moving on from Bol Bol. He's up to an 80 overall in the G League. So he's going to be a great asset. Let's move on to the start of next season. And then we're going to start making some trades. Okay, so here's a rotation as of right now. The Denver team we kind of all know and love with a few little additions. I like the Ananobi edition, but we got some more trades to make. We've got four trades left and I'm going to use all of them so yeah let's get into the first trade okay so this team needs some defense and it needs some more star power so chris middleton i think really fits he's not necessarily the sexy pick here but i think he could really work we've offered up bowl bowl paul Millsap, and gary harris it's quite a package and i think that would make the bucks really scary and really deep but uh eh, selfishly i'm gonna go for it let's see if this works no okay they want more they want more i'll throw in some seconds see if that gets the job done no man they really like this chris middleton fella no wow okay maybe i'll throw in one first as well 
Boom! Okay, Chris Middleton. Trade one complete. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so that trade has left us a little bit thin at the power forward position. So I think that's the one that we're going to upgrade next. Let's see what I can find. Okay, so the theme of defense continues. I'm going for Jonathan Isaac. I'm offering basically Jonathan Isaac diet, like diet Jonathan Isaac, Jeremy Grant. But I think the Magic would want a bit more than that. So I've thrown in an unprotected first in next year's draft and two seconds so they can continue to build out their team with young talent and PJ Dozier, who's shown some promise as well. So uh, let's see if this goes through. Yes. All right. All right. I'm liking the look of this team. I honestly think for our final, what, two trades that we've got left, we'll probably just build out the bench. I'm really liking the starting five now. Oh yeah, this team's looking nice. Murray, Middleton, Porter, Isaac, and Jokic. I love Ananobi off the bench. Morris and Plumlee are solid. I think Tory Craig's probably going to be next on the chopping block. Who's more of a Jokic type player than Dougie McBuckets? Jokic loves playing with shooters. I kind of like this trade. Patrick McCaw, Tory Craig, and an unprotected first, which is maybe a little bit of an overpay actually, but Doug McDermott did have a really good season. So feels like feel like the pace has unlocked him a bit. So I'll accept that trade. That works for me. That's perfect. Okay, I've technically got one more trade left, so I'll see if I even want to use it. Uh, yeah, let me go and kind of assess the roster and see if I want to make that final trade. Okay, so I'm really liking this squad right now. It looks so much more balanced. We've still got all the shooting that Jokic likes to play with, but way more defense in Middleton, Isaac, Ananobi, a lot of these guys. And then we've still got the extra shooting from guys like McDermott. So honestly loving this team. I might just glance at some Plumlee trades because I do have a trade to use and we might as well give it a look. Okay, Daniel Tice, Germany's finest. Ich glaube, es ohne Zweifel besser als Mason Plumlee. Und ja, ich bin dabei. Los. Boom. Okay, big trade, big trade. Let me show you guys the final roster. I'm excited for this season. I think we're going to contend right now. Okay, so here is the final roster after our five trades going into our first and only season. Murray at the point with Middleton offering some great defense at the two. Michael Porter Jr., Jonathan Isaac, Nikola Jokic, and then a really solid and balanced bench of Ananobi, Morris, McDermott, and Daniel Tice. System proficiency-wise, I actually switched us to balance just because I think that's kind of what this team is. It's a very balanced team, which is not something that the Nuggets are today. Also, I think Isaac and Michael Porter didn't really fit pace and space. So yeah, I kind of like balance. I think that's going to work for us. Let's simulate to the end of the season. Hope we can be, I'd say, maybe a 55-win team and a competitor this season. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this team definitely exceeded expectations. 67 and 15. That is incredible. That is more than I expected. I, clearly the balance worked and I'm pretty hyped about the trades I made now. We're, we're going to contend. Okay. Steph Curry MVP. Bowl, bowl. Wow. You let him go. And yeah, Milwaukee are going to be tough. I really hope I don't meet them in the finals. Yeah. Bowl, bowl's a demigod. I, I traded him for the sake of realism. I think he's an asset they could package, but I knew I was losing out on a lot in terms of 2K. Markel Fultz balling out. I respect that. I hope he has a good career. I really do. I feel sorry for what he went through. Yanis, okay. Nikola Jokic, first team, perfect. Did Murray make a team? Have we got any Murray in here? Nah, okay. Never mind. All right, let's go. So we're the first seed against the Thunder. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's have a look at the uh, player stats for the season first and foremost. So Jokic with an amazing season. I'm surprised he didn't win MVP, honestly. 24, 13.5, nine assists a game. Beautiful efficiency. That's amazing. How, what did he shoot from three out of interest? 44% from downtown. That's so juiced. That's so ridiculous. In fact, a whole team. Absolute floor spacing everywhere. 24 for Murray, 6.7 assists. Middleton getting 22 per game. So with three 20 plus point scorers with Porter kind of close by on 18.4. Love the seven reba rebounds. Ananobi kind of doing a solid job off the bench. 9.4 a game. Shooting some threes, playing some defense. That's beautiful. What else we got down here? So Monte, Isaac. Actually, Isaac, yeah, still pretty inefficient, but I'm, I'm assuming he's playing some good defense out there. And then Dougie McBucket's doing his job. Uh, sorry, Daniel Tice as well. 58% from the field. 40% from downtown. Wow. Okay, this team's juiced. I'm ready. Let's have a look at the team stats as well. So I assume you have the best offense in the game for sure. Yeah, 126 a game. And the Denver Nuggets, it looks like, had the best defense in the NBA. So I've turned Denver from defensively questionable to a defensive powerhouse. You love to see it. Okay, Denver versus OKC Thunder in round one here. I'm expecting an easy win. So let's see how this goes. Where are Milwaukee? So they're second seed. If Chicago could knock them out, that would be amazing. 2-0. 2-1, okay. Okay, see, so putting up some fight. 2-2, two, two, okay. Finish it. Finish it, end it, let's go. Okay, here we go in round two. Mm, Luka Doncic. Anything is possible when Luka Doncic is involved. They picked up Isaac Okoro and Boogie. This is a good squad. This is a really good squad. Half of their starting lineups now on their bench because they've made mad upgrades. Uh, let me just make sure, so... Yeah, we got Chris Middleton guarding Luca. So let me just make sure he is guarding Luca like every single time. Because I think Middleton's the guy that I want on him. He's got the size. He's got the defense. So yeah, let's make sure Middleton's on him. Porzingis will probably not want 
Jokic on. We'll probably want... Let's put Isaac on him. He doesn't have the size, but he's got the defense. So yeah, we're going to put Isaac on Porzingis. I think that's a smart move. Lacking size, but he's a great defender, so that should work. Okay, let's get into the series. Let's hope we can just get him out of the way and there's no Luka-related drama. 1-0. One, 1-1, -oh. one, one. okay. Let's... Come on! Mm, I knew this was going to be a tight series. 3-2. Finish the job. Let's go! Okay. Who did well in the uh, closeout game? Doncic with a triple-double. Pretty much an average game for him in this. Middleton coming in clutch. Abusing Luca on the defensive end. 7 for 11 from downtown. 4 20-plus point scorers. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. LA Lakers, a seventh seed. That's interesting. And they retained Anthony Davis. Man, okay. At least they uh, kind of reached their potential and got to this point. Uh, let's have a look at the coach game plan for these guys as well. Make sure our matchups are kind of sorted. We'll put we'll put Chris Middleton on LeBron. I think that makes a little bit more sense. He clearly did a good job guarding Doncic. And then AD again. I mean, Jokic isn't guarding him, let's be honest. So it's going to have to be Jonathan Isaac. It's not going to be an easy matchup for him, but... Uh, yeah, I trust him. I trust him. All right, let's go. Let's see, let's see how this series goes. In fact, let's go game, but let's go. Get, let's at least do the first game. We'll do, we'll do the first game, see how it goes. 1 0. Okay, I'm confident. I'm confident. We're going to sweep him, I think. Yeah, I had that vibe. Mm. Oh, no, we're going to lose now. Yeah, we're going to lose. I cursed it. I jinxed it. Let's go into. Let's go into I deserve that. I deserve that. All right, let's go into Simcast for this final game. See if we can get the job done. Come on, we won 67 games. We've got to get the job done. Oh, easy money. Easy money. Late. <sighs> easy. Okay, so we've got Kyrie, Karis LeVert. Yeah, that's a really nice squad. That's a really nice squad. Again, I'm going to bore you with the matchups because I'm just kind of concerned about their level of star power. Okay, so Middleton's going to guard Irving. I don't know how that's going to go. Yeah, that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. So, and then KD, this is the main one I wanted to do. Isaac on KD. All right, let's go. Let's see how we do. Simulate round. 2-0. Mm, Come on. Pick it up, boys. Pick it up. We need to, we need to close this out. Let's go. Good start. Good start. Close game. No. Come on. Man, down down seven. Okay, down seven. I'm going to hop in. I'm going to hop in. I'm going to see if I can save the day. I'm going to see if I can save the day. Okay, so we're here in the game. Let's make sure we've got our starters in, which we don't for some reason. Is Has our whole squad fouled out? Are they seriously both fouled out? Wait, where are they? Nuggets. Okay. Jokic. Yeah, six fouls. Wow, Isaac and Jokic are both fouled out. That's going to make life a little bit difficult. Okay, so we're here in the game and Jokic and Isaac have fouled out. I'm not the best 2K player, so I'm not terrible. But uh, yeah, it's going to be tough without our boy Nicole. Let's get a screen here. Let's go, Jamal. Oh, that's a great start, isn't it? That's just a wonderful start. Come on, OG. Ah, all right, that's not an ideal start. Come on. Let's go, get a pick. Boom. Let's go, Tice. Ah, uh, what is that fadeaway? All right, let's go. One point at a time. I can't believe Nicola's fouled out. Ah, did not need that. That's it, locked up. Let's go, get in there, Danny. Oh, grab that. Let's go, big D. Grab the board. All right, let's go. Get out and run. Get out and run. Push it, Chris. Push it, Chris. There we go. Big pass. Bang. Easy money. Let's go. Let's go. We are not going down without a fight. Oh, man. I've just realized I left player fatigue on off, so no one's getting tired. My bad. Anyway, we'll crack on. We'll crack on. Let's go. They're static. I think Kyrie's on the bench as well. Let's go. Big D. Big D, Daniel. Come on, Daniel. Los. Verteidig mal. Bitte. All right, let's go. Hands up, Michael. Oh, he's not the best defender, is he? Let's go. Get a hand up. Get a hand up. Great defense. Locked up. Oh, you've got to get the boards, boys. You've got to get the boards. Come on. Man, that's a big bucket. Let's go. Daniel Tice coming in clutch. That's great ball movement. Can we bring a double? OG, you got him. Ah. Let's go, Daniel. Daniel's been the star tonight. Let's go. Push it, OG. Easy dunk. Easy dunk. Boom. Daniel Tice finals MVP if we win it. Daniel Tyson Finals MVP. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. He's been amazing defensively. Who needs Jokic, man? Who needs Jokic? Who is Jokic? Let's go, Michael. Clamp him up. Clamp him up. Ah, big screen. That's a big screen. Great defense, Michael. Let's... Oh, we can't get a f***ing board. That's tough. We need Allen to miss both. Okay. What's the score? What's the score? Okay, we're down six. We need a quick three. We need a quick three. Let's get Murray a quick screen and we're just going to pull one. We're just going to pull one. Oh, he's got such a slow release. It's over. That's game. Okay, so that didn't 
go to plan. I don't know how much of that I will actually include, but yeah, we lost 3-0. Let's see if we can pull off a miracle here. Who knows? Can we do it? One. Okay, the Nets win. No worries, no worries. Hey man, you can't win them all at the end of the day. I think Nuggets fans in real life would be pretty happy with the finals appearance. I'm really happy with the team I built. I feel like it was a lot more balanced, had a lot more defense. Let me know what you think in the comments of this team. Let me know what you think the Nuggets could do in real life because I think they do need to make some moves to get to that next level. And yeah, if you like the video, please like the video. If you want to see more of this stuff, please subscribe. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.